Yeah. William, let's hear it for William. <laughs> okay, William wants to start with a song because he has a song in his heart. I love it. <laughs> that is out here in this in these streets. I want to tell you that I love you. I'm going to start with that. I love you. Because we all have gone through something in life to get us to the point to where we are now. Whether it's been somebody did something to us or we made a bad choice. We've all first faced a lot of hurt and pain that will cause a topple effect that got you here. I was here, and I'm going to tell you about it in a little while after we sing this song, but the reason why I chose this song, Break Every Chain, because there is something that is holding you and it's holding you from making the decision of being all that God would want you to be. It held me for over 25 years. And I was in the same position. So when we finish singing this song, I'm gonna give my testimony and I'm gonna let you know how real God is. Praise his holy name. So we need to break the chains right now, the chains of bondage. And we claim those broken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Yeah, guys. Want to hear that song? Yeah. 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 Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. 
him in the spirit right now. I see the chains breaking off of you. I see them falling in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise his precious holy name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I come to you this morning in the precious name of Jesus. And we thank you so much for this day, for this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit, as I know is already here, that you encamp us right now. We thank you for being here. We praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So first and foremost, I'm going to start off with my name is William Wilson. And I'm going to share with you that some of the people that are here have seen my face. And I know you recognize me as I walk through here. Because at one point in time, I was here. It's difficult coming back here sometimes. Even though my heart is here, it's difficult to come back because I have a lot of memories of things that I did here on these streets that I am not proud of. I'm not proud of it. It was the most difficult time in my life that I could ever even imagine. I don't wish that on nobody, not even my worst enemy, would I ever wish that they would be in this situation. This is the hardest thing that's ever happened to me in my life, is to be homeless and to be out here. I made some real bad choices. And it cost me almost 25 years of my life. And so I come here today because I want you to know that God is real. And he can change your circumstance. I'm not coming out here so I can look good or sound good or not be real with you. Because you don't need somebody to sugarcoat nothing out here. This is tough out here. I know how rough it is out here. You're looking at a man that did the same thing. I was out here for over five years. And I almost died out here. And I almost died out here because I made bad choices. That's what I did. I chose to listen to people who didn't have no direction who didn't know their name, their own name, didn't know where they were going. I chose that. Didn't nobody choose that for me. Me, I chose it. And some of you are in the same position. You made some bad choices. And I'm going to tell you today, so what? So what you made some bad choices? We all make bad choices. But today you can make a better choice. You can. This is the reason why God woke you up today. So that you can make a better choice. I'm not going to go into what I did out here because it does not matter. It don't matter. It really doesn't matter what I did out here. Because you know, you're living it. I lived it. I can go and say, oh yeah, I did this and I did that, but I don't even care about what you've done or what, you, what you're doing. What I care about is to send you a message of hope. You need to know that God is real. Yeah. 
if he can change me, I know he can change you. There's no doubt in my mind. I bleed red like everybody else in this center. Everybody. My issue was, is I didn't want to change. I was happy where I was, because it was comfortable. It was easy. It was easy for me not to be responsible. It was easy for me not to care. It was easy for me to use every uh, problem that I had and say, oh, it's okay. It's okay to smoke crack. It's okay to get high. It's okay, it, you know, I need something to numb my pain. Until God showed me one day that that's not doing anything for me except for keeping me stuck. Being comfortable, being in the same position, doing the same things over and over again, thinking that something's gonna change, it's never gonna change until you decide. You gotta make a decision. There are people out here today that I know that are very smart and capable of doing anything in this world that they choose to do. God has already given you gifts. He's already told you, this is who you can be. This is what you can be. All you gotta do is just choose me. That's all you gotta do. He's already told you. I know he's spoken to a lot of people here. I know he has. Some of you know God, and you just walked away from God. Why? Because of whatever pain or situation or circumstances that came across your life, like I did. I knew God. I knew God before I, before I decided to make a bad choice and to pick up the crap pipe and just do whatever I decided to do. That's what made me homeless. I'm not going to lie. It was bad choices. I chose to smoke crack rather than go to work. What happened? I chose to smoke crack to rather than pay my rent. That's what happened. I chose crack over everything. That's what happened. The Bible says, choose ye this day whom you must serve, whether it be God or whether it be man. Now you got a choice today. Like I told you earlier, I'm not gonna stand here and sugarcoat and be all oh, woe with me, because you don't need to hear that. That is not what you need to hear. You need to know that God can do something for you if you ask him to and you have to make a choice. So I'm gonna tell you today, choose. Is it gonna be easy? No. No, it's not going to be easy because you're gonna be faced every day with a choice. Do I do this or do I do that? Do I try to go to church? Do I try to hang out with different people? Do I not listen to the madness that I hear that these streets be calling your name? Because I know they used to call my name. And that voice that you listen to, that is not God's voice calling you on these streets. That's a lie from the pit of hell to try to keep you stuck. If you don't understand what you're going through right now, I will tell you what you're going through. You're going through a battle that you cannot win. You cannot win it without God. You cannot. Woo. Did you hear what I just said? You cannot win this battle without God. Woo. I don't care what you try. I don't care what you do. You're not gonna win if you don't put God first. I've come out here plenty of times and I've given my testimony, but today the Holy Spirit has shared with me that you do not need somebody to come out here and to give you uh, this, oh, woe is me kind of testimony. What the law, what, what I used to, no. What you need to hear is the, the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Amen. Yeah. Now I don't know about you, But I love being set free. I love being able to do things differently than what I have done in the past. And the reason why I love it 
Because the Bible says, humble thyself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Now, if you have a little bit of humility in you, all you need is a little bit. Ask God to show you what steps must I take in order for me to change my circumstance. I'm going to reiterate this. It's not going to be easy. Because you're going to face this battle every day as you have in the past. But today you have an opportunity to face the battle with someone who loves you and cares for you. And his name is Jesus. Jesus. That's what his name is. A lot of you know who Jesus is. But you find it very difficult to come to him. Or you find it difficult to say, well, I made these mistakes, Jesus, and I don't know how to how to fix them. But guess what? He's the fixer. He fixes everything. Amen. He can fix everything. That's the reason why he came here to die on the cross. So that he can fix everything. Now, is it going to be easy? I'm going to tell you again. No. Can it be done? Look at me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not here to, 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 to make myself look big because I'm not. I'm the same as you. Only thing I choose to do, I chose to do, was to follow the Lord. Amen. Out here. And God made every step possible for me, one after another, year after year, to progress. It's taken a long time and I have not even arrived yet. There's still so much more. Yeah. There's so much more that God is doing for me in my life. And he wants to do it for all of you that will come to him. The Bible says, come all ye that are heavy laden and I'll give you some rest. Yeah. I know you need some rest. I know, I know you need rest. I see you, I feel you. My heart goes out to everyone here. And I want you to know that the reason why Chris and his mother comes out here is because they love you. They've been doing this for years. They don't look upon you like you're non-human. And neither do I, or neither do anybody that stands here because you are a human being. God made all of us to be human beings, so you're nothing less than. I want you to know that, that you're nothing less. You're just in a different situation. That's all it is. That's all it is. And you can change it. All you got to do is choose. you got a choice. So I'm going to pray today that the choices that you make for this next week, I'm not going to say months, just this next week, just the next week, just the choices that you make. See if you can make some different choices. Instead of going this way, go that way. Instead of not praying, try to pray. Get up in the morning and thank God for you at least still being alive. Because as long as you're alive, you still got an opportunity to go to heaven. You still have an opportunity. Every day you got a choice. Every day you got a chance. Every second you got you got an opportunity. What I'm going to ask of you is not hard, but then again it is hard. It's to make a better choice. Choose ye this day whom you must serve, whether it be God or man. You see what man has for you. And I'm going to tell you, it ain't much. Don't sell your soul. Don't sell your soul. Because that's what I almost did. I sold my soul for crack. That's what I did. I almost died out here. And I wanted to die out here. Because I thought that there was no hope. I'm going to keep it real. That's what I was trying to do. I actually physically tried to kill myself 
out here in these streets. Why? Because I thought that there was no hope. I really did. I didn't think that God could, would listen to my prayers. I didn't think he would, but he did. But he did. I'm telling you he did. Cause you can hear my voice now. This voice that you listen to is a voice of love and passion and gratefulness and humbleness. I'm very humble. I'm so humbled I don't know what to do sometimes. I, I'm just so grateful for everything that he's done for me. And no, I'm not rich. I ain't got everything. It's not about the things. What it is is about where your spirit is, where your heart is. And learning how not to be so selfish and so self-centered and so egotistical and so angry and so frustrated. These are the things that keep you stuck. God says, humble thyself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. So I'm praying that anyone that is here today, that has heard my voice, that God has got you on the fence and he's asking you, I want to help you, son. I want to help you, daughter. Please listen to him. Please. I'm humbly coming to you as a humble servant and I'm asking you, please listen to him. Because if he can change me, he can change you. If he can take me off these streets, he can take you off these streets. But here's the thing. Do you want him to? That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the big question. The big question mark is, do you want God to help you? That's the question mark. And if you do want him to help you, there's not too many promises in this world I can make you, but I promise you he will. That's one thing I can promise you. That God will help you. He will heal your prayers. He will heal your land. He will take you out of the situation, the circumstance that you are in currently, and he will make a difference in your life. But you have to be humble enough to ask him. You have to be humble enough to ask him. Please, please, please know that God loves you. He loves you. Father, I come to you right now in the precious name of Jesus. And I ask you, Father, that if there be any sin, any iniquity, anything contrary to your word and to your spirit, that we claim the precious blood of Jesus for the forgiveness of our sins today. For everyone that is here underneath this voice that they can hear underneath this microphone, I pray, Father, right now for a supernatural blessing that you show yourself to them, that you show them, God, that you are real. That, that, that you're not some far off place that they cannot touch or cannot hear or cannot feel. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you stay right here in this center and that you never leave it. And that you bless the ones that are humble enough to come to you. Father, I so thank you for this day. I so thank you for everyone that is in here. I pray, Lord, that you love on them. Just love on them, God, because it's love that heals all wounds. Guide them, protect them, let there be nothing but harmony out here today. Nothing but harmony. And that you talk about some different things today. That you talk about Lord, the Lord and what God has done for you and what he can do for you. That your conversations change and that your attitude changes. God, I just know that there's so many people out here that do love you and do want you to help them. So, Father, for all those people that are willing, that are willing, because you got to be willing, that are willing, that you show them the way. You show them that you are the truth and that you are the light. I praise you and I thank you. And we love you. In Jesus' precious name, amen.